you look into my heart, you'll find the phrase, large numbers of individuals. I want to reach them. The way we go about reaching them comes from two strategic burdens that I carry. One is to evangelize leaders. The other is to strengthen pastors. There are two parts to this mission where my personal proclamation gifting undergirds a global proclamation calling and is built on three legs of a ministry. It's been a pleasure to watch uh, God bless Dr. Richard's life and his ministry around the world for the sake of evangelism and church health. We are privileged to be a partner with him. I think one of the advantages that Ramesh has across the world is his favor with people of influence all over the world and wins over the hearts of uh, politicians and leaders in different countries that allow him then to go in and make a difference for their people. <laughs> this has got to be one of the most brilliant fellows I have ever met who has balanced uh, academics and education with ministry and impact in a most unique way and on a worldwide basis. As a proclamation ministry, it is very easy to support REACH. We all wonder what happens when we contribute to a cause. And then we go on the field and watch the unfolding of that cause. For eight years, they presented this program that was pre-evangelism, uh, but the gospel was completely explained. And Ramesh made these state of the world, if you want to call it, uh, messages. And uh, that was, I thought, excellent uh, outreach for the world. At the same time, uh, that moved on into the internet. One thing I've always admired about REACH is their ability to look around the corner for new technology and really efficient ways to uh, expand the kingdom. And based upon our old methods of uh, our New Year's proclamation versus the way the younger generation sees and hears about Jesus Christ, uh, Ramesh has adapted that very well. One of the things I like about the uh, internet program is that Ramesh presents the gospel and the uh, people are recommended to come to the site, they're recommended to go to these counselors that would engage them in the video showings and they get a chance to actually see the gospel presented clearly and then get be, receive an invitation to receive Christ. And I think that's extremely important and again, it's a great way to to use the internet to lift up Christ. There are about two million pastors in the world of whom only 5% have formal training. So we need to do something in large numbers for them. And that's why we have this 10 year project. The Global Proclamation Commission goes from 2010 to 2020 in order to connect, unite, strengthen 100,000 pastors from 200 countries by 2020. Training pastoral leadership empowers uh, the church really to develop disciples who can face the challenges of today. Dr. Ramesh Richard and I began to talk and dream about the Global Proclamation Academy, a shared ministry initiated by REACH, uh, joined in uh, with Dallas Theological Seminary uh, to uh, provide a place where uh, leaders of other nations uh, could come together for an intensive uh, time of study, uh, discipleship, uh, vision casting and preparation. Dallas CPA put me in the right track of the ministry. I'm very glad uh, for uh, telling something about my experience in Dallas GPA. It's unbelievable. The hospitality, the way of teaching, the standard of teachers, it's beyond my thinking. It's every day, every day is new experiencing. But the Global Proclamation Academy partnership uh, with REACH has allowed us to uh, have a first-hand exposure uh, to countries where we will not be uh, that present and where we don't have the same levels of access. And so it's been a mutual uh, benefit, uh, I'm sure, to both of our ministries uh, to be involved with each other. The National GPAs are a shortened 10-day version of the Dallas GPA. From the Dallas GPA to the National GPAs, I, the thing that comes to my mind is this exponential multiplicity as these guys take the 25 Dallas graduates, go back to their respective countries, and they organize and facilitate for 25 of their fellow countrymen who are also involved in 
mentoring and discipleship relationships with local pastors within their community. 20 years after the Rwandan genocide, we were able to bring 30 young pastors from all over the country to the Rwandan GPA. Even one of our pastors who had previously applied for his uh, visa and had been accepted to the Dallas GPA but had been rejected for his visa was able to attend the Rwanda GPA. In the middle of the decade, in 2016, the summer, we are hoping for the Global Proclamation Congress for Pastoral Trainers. We're up to 5,000 pastoral trainers from across the world ministering in 200 countries will come in. You get this exponential growth of return on the monies you've got invested. And, uh, you know, that's just to me, it's, that's a wise way to do God's business. It's really exciting to be part of uh, uh, promoting, encouraging uh, others to, to find out about this man, this ministry, and this impact because it is well worth it if you're concerned at all about the advancement of the kingdom of God. There are a lot of good things to be involved with, but this is just one that God gave us a gift to be able to see beyond what we do here in Dallas to His glory. And it was a, a beautiful experience. Yeah. We are grateful to plant seeds of the gospel everywhere so that there will be many who are exposed to the good news of salvation. <laughs>